I will not ask you to look for any silver linings. I will not ask you to feel anything but grief right now. Donald Trump won the election and the consequences will be real and devastating. But I'm reminding myself and you that on the road ahead, there will still be opportunities to fight back. I can't tell you that we will win all of those fights. I can't tell you that we will win most or even any of them. But when we arrive at each of those moments, we will face a choice to give up or to press forward. The far right wants us to feel powerless. Extremists are counting on apathy, cynicism, heartbreak, or all of the above as their rocket fuel. They are counting on us to point fingers at each other and to lose trust in our ability to ever, ever make change. I absolutely refuse to give them that satisfaction. We will continue to fight for each other. Look, eight years ago in the dark days when Republicans took full power in Washington, I thought the Affordable Care Act would be gone with the snap of a finger. But the American people rose up. Activists like the late amazing Adi Barkin and countless others put their bodies on the line, quite literally. They made their voices heard. They saved health care for millions of families and they paved the way for us to expand health care in the past few years. And a grassroots movement against far-right control took back the House in 2018 and the White House in 2020 and the Senate in 2021. Don't let anyone tell you that those victories didn't make a real difference. More people could afford to go to the doctor and fill a prescription. More people could go to work. More parents could afford to put food on the table for their kids and buy new coats for them in the winter. Lives were saved. As the far right works to roll back what we've achieved, they'll hope that we don't have the stomach to push back anymore but we can choose to prove them wrong. We need each other. We take care of each other. And please take care of yourself. Take the time you need right now to be angry, hurt, confused. Hold your loved ones close. Find opportunities to be in community with others this week. Take, take social media breaks. Foster your connections, make new ones. Reach out to someone that you've lost touch with. Tell them that you're with them no matter what lies ahead. If the work you do makes a difference for just one person, that would be enough. I will wake up every morning and choose to fight for our families, our freedoms, and our kids' futures. I will do everything I can in my position to defend our values and to fight to everyone who volunteered, who phone banked, who texted, who knocked doors, who brought cookies to volunteers, who put up a lawn sign, who gave a part of themselves to be a part of something bigger. You are the beating heart of our democracy. It will be an honor to keep fighting by your side. Thank you.